since the beginning of time, or it's since the release of that one movie, we are asked ourselves this philosophical question. Who the heck would win in a fight between a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Spinosaurus? Now of course, those answers may vary depending on where you're looking at. You might be thinking of IRL or in this case, in the game Battle Titans. For some, the answers are simple, the Spinosaurus. But for the majority, it is the same creature it's always been. The T-Rex. Now, opinion may be biased, and unfortunately more common than it should be, just complete BS. So in this video, we are going to analyze it on the deeper level to finally understand just which one of these two creatures are the true King of Path of Titans. Hello there, my name is Adam Vokte, and before I start, I should probably clarify a few things. First of all, when I say Tyrannosaurus Rex vs Spinosaurus, I am referring to the creatures in games like Battle Titans. You know, games. So do spare me the comments of, oh, it's not realistic at all. These are video games, meaning that realism aren't too high on the priority list. Secondly, for you older subscribers of mine, you probably know that I have done a similar video of this before. However, that video are clearly outdated, and just like that, this one could also be in the near future. It depends on how big the updates will be. Lastly, if I do say something that is wrong in the technical sense, do feel free to comment it down below and correct me. If we are to crown a king, we need to see what they bring to the table in terms of fighting. I'm talking about their arsenal of abilities, their overall stats, and their combat ideologies. Well, I'm not gonna go too deep into their arsenal, I will quote these certain abilities, but I won't do any in-depth analysis of that. You will get that in the combat guide videos. However, I will show you guys the arsenal, or the current arsenal, and if you need to, just pause the video. What bonuses the subspecies grants has changed since last time, however, in this video, for reasons that will be understood later, I will be utilizing the attack increased T-Rex and the armor increased Spino. This is the arsenal of the T-Rex, you may pause the video if you wish. I will also go into why, despite being creature of similar stature, why their fighting style, their fighting ideology, are different from each other. Here's the Spinosaurus arsenal. Though somewhat similar, you can clearly see Abilities designed for another way of fighting. Before we start figuring out how to use their abilities to the best potential, we're going to need to figure out which one of these two creatures are going to win on paper. Fighting style can wait, because, you know, fighting style, it does require skill, because skill will determine the fight's outcome. Worst part about this is that all player skills varies from player to player. Some players are just better than others and... Well, let's say you're fighting a bad spinal player as a T-Rex, of course you're gonna win, obviously, and vice versa. So in this part, we're just going to figure out which one of these two creatures are going to win on paper due to their stats alone, not skill-based. First, we need to figure out what advantages and disadvantages the different parties have over each other. Then we just need to figure out which one of them can kill the other fastest. I won't bore you guys with all the math involved, so I'm just gonna cut right to it. During this recording, their strongest damage output should be the bites of both of these creatures, the regular bites, and also if we don't take into account their stomp abilities. They deliver about the same damage per second, so this is going to be easy to figure out. In this case, if the Spinosaurus and T-Rex were to have a biting contest, only the bites, no other abilities, and no terrain bias, then the T-Rex would need 12 to 14 bites to kill a Spinosaurus. A Spinosaurus would need 16 to 17 bites, if we assume that all of these bites were body shots. If we take their other abilities into account, then it's going to be a bit more difficult. I did do the math, but the results were quite saddening, so I'm not really gonna say too much about that. However, bottom line is, in a head-to-head -head clash, the T-Rex will win on paper. But stats aren't everything. One thing is to have superior stats, 
but it's another thing to have the skill to utilize them to maximum potential. The fighting in Path of Titans aren't just simply biting each other, you calculate each other's movement, you try to predict where they will end up, you make last second decisions to figure out the best course of action. In moments, you can remember, recollect and draw from previous experience, utilizing it and forming it to a fighting style. A lot more is happening than just what is said on paper. The fighting style of the T-Rex prioritized head-to-head -head clash. When it comes to head-to-head -to -head clashing, the T-Rex might be one of the best one. For these types of battle, it is best to have the following abilities. Some of you might not agree with the chosen abilities, however if we take away the terrain bias, then these abilities are definitely the best suited for head-to-head -head clashing, a true contest of biting. It is also good to know that if you have a combo of deep rumble, face tank and bite, then there's a high chance that you might even beat an EO Triceratops in a head-to-head -head fight. Yes, so good has the T-Rex become in head-to-head -head clashing. However, do pay in mind that this might only be possible with the combination of the Rumble and Face Tank. Now, the reason I suggest Balance Tail over the normal tail attack, well, it is due to the fact that Turning Circle might be the only way for a Spinosaurus to kill a T-Rex. Not to mention that Turning Circle are one of the sides which T-Rex do not excel at. The best way for a T-Rex to fight a Spino is to force the Spino into a head-to-head -head clash. Not to mention, it is extremely important that he keeps the Spino in front of his head at all time. Once I explain the Spino fighting style, then you will understand why. The base fighting style of the Spino are somewhat similar to the T-Rex, however it requires a bit more planning ahead. The Spino is slower and doesn't have as much damage output, so it makes sense that he won't be able to kill his opponent as fast as the T-Rex. He does have more HP than his opponent, and he has received defensive abilities of his own. Both creatures have stomp abilities, however in the Spinos' case, there is one factor that can really determine the fight's results. Spinosaurus are semi-aquatic. T-Rex are not. If the Spino just feels like the fight aren't going his way, he can just dip back into the water. What I'm trying to say is, if Spinosaurus has water close to him, then it is good to have traction, as you can just go back into the water to get back your stamina, as you can regenerate your stamina in water. It is also a huge boost to your turning speed and turn radius, and that is what Spinosaurus need to defeat a T-Rex. If the Spinosaurus player finds the sweet spot, then it will be quite difficult for the Rex player and he will be vulnerable for the Spinos attack. Even if you have higher damage output, it doesn't mean much if you can't land them. This is also a way for the Spinosaurus to bypass the face tank ability. At least in game it says nothing about protecting anything but your head, neck and chest, meaning that tail riding are still most effective against T-Rexes. Of course, there's a possibility that the T-Rex player has removed the ability completely and traded off for Bone Break. If that's the case, then just wait for the Bone Break to wear off, it won't last forever, you know, and just continue tail riding. Of course, there's also the possibility of the Spino going back into the water, so it's kind of a stalemate on that point. Now, to be completely honest, I don't think I really answered any of my questions. My goal was to figure out which one of Spinosaurus and T-Rex were the true king of Path of Titans, but when it really comes down to it, it's all about skill. Realistically at least. On paper, I believe we can crown the T-Rex as the true king of Path of Titans. Or we can at least from the perspective of the official carnivores. There's probably some modern creature that can definitely give both T-Rex and the Spinosaurus a good run for their money and the throne. Question remains though. Last time I figured out that the herbivore were actually the true master of Path of Titans due to their extra bulk, but with a new update. Does this mean that the T-Rex is actually the true master?